everyone, this is Jackie Long. Welcome to another episode of Changemakers on Yippie Kaye TV. Today we are so excited to introduce Angel Rebo, founder and CEO of Wisdom for Kids, a nonprofit empowering children throughout Latin America. Angel Rebo was born just outside of Barcelona, Spain. Being the second of five children with successful entrepreneurial parents, he learned the values of family, hard work, and education at a young age. These values primed him for leadership and inspired Angel to graduate from a top computer engineering school, leading to a successful career in software across Europe and the UK, Latin America, and ultimately the US. Throughout his travel and career, Angel found himself surrounded by children in poverty, usually trying to sell him services with no educational opportunities to make their lives better. Angel is proud to be building a legacy alongside his wife and children today as he shares how his life experience and a hotel room epiphany led him to his purpose, the creation of Wisdom for Kids, a nonprofit empowering the children of Latin America with entrepreneurial education. Welcome, Angel. Thank you. Thank you for having me here, Jacqueline. Yes, absolutely. We are so excited to have you. Um, so tell me a little bit about Wisdom for Kids. What's your mission? Exactly. So basically what we do, we help underprivileged kids in Latin America become entrepreneurs using the local resources. I love that. So the research I've done on you would uh, lead to the fact that you have a pretty big vision for this. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Oh, yes, absolutely. Actually, well, first of all, you know, throughout my life, I had uh, been surrounded by, by teachers. My mom is a teacher. I have several relatives which are teachers. Second, you know, I have had different defining moments in my life in, we, in which I moved from. Originally, I was born in Lleida, a city close to Barcelona in Spain. And I've been moving from, you know, Spain to the UK and then to Latin America. And throughout all those years in Latin America, 14 years in Latin America, actually was all the time being surrounded by these, uh, let's say, very, very young kids that were offering me all sorts of services. I was working for a multinational software company and I would go to all those manufacturing companies that were in suburban and rural areas. And all the time when I was you know, going to those places or coming back from those places, I was surrounded by, for, you know, by those kids. So you know, eventually I knew that you know, something had to be done to help those kids in Latin America. Okay, so that experience then led to the launch of Wisdom for Kids? Well, that's a good question. To be very honest, it was actually a very, very intense spiritual experience, which led me to decide to found uh, Wisdom for Kids. It was in 2015. I was working for, for, a, for a multinational company. It was in a business trip in Mexico City. I was in my room. It was like 7.30, 8 a.m. in the morning, and I was having a shower. And for no reason, I suddenly... Really, I mean, I cannot put it in, in another way. I suddenly started to cry. And all those thoughts of things I have been doing throughout my entire life got together like the pieces of a puzzle. And I understood that what I had to do in my life was actually to help the underprivileged kids to have a better future that would impact the entire society of Latin America that they have and I carry so much into onto my heart. Uh, well, good for you. That's really great to hear. That's a profound realization. So can you give us an example of maybe uh, a specific child that you've helped or perhaps a family with the great work that you've been doing? If I had to highlight probably one of the experiences is those kids have never meditated, never in their entire lives. And actually one of the things we did with them, we do, we do with them is actually we have them meditate and we start reinforcing all those positive thoughts. And you know, when the meditation stops, everyone says, wow, where, where have we been? What have we done? Because we never were there before. That's really great. Um, that's, I, I love that. I think those are tremendous values to be instilling in such young kids um, that will really skill them up for the future in ways they probably can't even comprehend right now. So I, I really enjoy that. Um, what are your long-term and short-term goals then for the organization? So there is, in Latin America, there are 81 million kids living in poverty, 81 million kids. To put that into perspective, it's 45%, 45% of the entire children population in the continent. So this is, you know, almost, you know, of every two kids, one is poor. So we, what we really want to do in actually in three years, we would like to reach out to 810,000 kids. So 10% of those kids. And we can do that throughout our network, a network of volunteers. 
which actually does that. So they basically, we train them, we help them learn how they have to deliver those workshops. And, you know, they start delivering those workshops on a weekly or monthly basis. So that's the number one goal we have. Okay, those are big goals. Um, I, you know, also understanding the work that you do and just listening to you more, um, you have such a focus on the entrepreneurial side of, of your programs and the education that you provide the kids. You know, everyone has a different viewpoint in education and has a different approach. Why are you so focused on this entrepreneurial program? Because I think that that guarantees the future of all those kids. We want, if we consider it again, it's 45%. It's, it's half of the population. So if we want to give those kids a much better chance, we have to give them the tools so that they can develop their own ideas. They can develop their, creative, their creativity in a way that that can become a business. So we, we teach the kids that you know, they can be entrepreneurs still having a job. Every single job is good. You know, entrepreneurship doesn't, doesn't mean only having and founding your own venture. It also means that you can be on your job and you can be entrepreneurial and you can be creating much more value for the position that you are actually working on. So, but again, we think that that's the best way to give them a much better chance for the future. I, I really like that distinction that you just made between the two. I think sometimes the term entrepreneur in itself means all or nothing. And so that's a really great distinction that you're making. Um, so I kind of want to get into all the work. This took a lot, this took a lot for you to launch. So I want to dive into what that was like for you. It was really exciting. It was really exciting. Actually, I call a family meeting, really. I mean, I, I call my family in, in Spain. That's a true story. So everybody got together. We had a, a wonderful call. I started telling them that, you know, that, that I have had this revelation. I want to do that. And they're all on board. You know, they really, they really said, you know, we're going to be with you all, 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 all the time. And then after that, I said, okay, so that has to come a reality. That has to become a reality. So I started contacting first one person in Mexico that I thought, I mean, he's extremely smart, someone that, you know, would be able to really bring a lot of value to this, to, to this idea. Because, you know, the thing is that this particular person, his father is uh, 49 years in the education sector in Mexico. So this guy has a 49 year experience in teaching teachers in Mexico. He has written more than 70 books, more than 70 books <laughs> for you know, different school systems in Latin America. So I gathered that team, you know, and all together we started to work on what should be the workshop, what should be exactly the content of the workshop and the style. What should be, how should we articulate that in front of the kids so we make sure that that causes an impact in their lives within these two hours of workshop that we deliver. But obviously, I mean, that was the, the fun part, right? Then I said, okay, so how, that, how, we, how do we make this uh, a corporation? <laughs> but that's another story. That's, that's more of a challenge than an excitement. <laughs> yeah, well, that leads me really into my next question. So it sounds like you have a great team and, and good for you because that's one of the hardest things I think nonprofit leaders run into is who's my board? Who am I going to do this with? But so you have the idea and now how did you, what was that process like for you to get your 501c3, the, your tax exempt status so you could really get the support you needed? I mean, I, I strongly believe that's who I am. I strongly believe that when you have an intention, really the universe or, or God, whatever you believe in, brings everything into you. I was in a conference and as, a, you know, as an attendee, there were literally 1,200 people in that conference and suddenly a guy stood up and asked a question. It was a conference of a guy called uh, Jeff Walker and the guy who stood up asked the question and actually be besides asking a question, he also presented his business like in 20 seconds. This guy was Christian Lefer. So, I mean, I really honestly, I had never thought of how I was going to make it happen, how to, I was going to found, legally speaking, and from a tax perspective, my venture in the US. But when he said that, I said, oh my God, this is exactly what I'm gonna need. So it was the perfect match, you know? I mean, I, I didn't look for him, he was there. And, you know, since then, I mean, I've recommended, you know, Christian Lefer's uh, company and services to everybody. <laughs> well, thank you. We really appreciate that. That's really, that's, that's an awesome story. So tell me about your experience working with the Yippie Kaye platform then. 
Yes, I mean, it's it's so easy. I mean, I, I can't imagine to really found a venture, a company, in a, an easier way. So you basically, it's, it's, a very, it's a very easy user interface. It's extremely friendly, very, very friendly, very easy to use. You just click, a few clicks, it's very easy again. And you're being suggested, you know, how you have to fill in the different, you know, the different parts of your application form. So you basically adapt that information to your venture, to your project, to my nonprofit, in this case, to my dream, right? To my life purpose. And it's very easy to do. So an entire process of filling out a ton of documents and papers suddenly becomes, you know, it's just you with the computer, with lots of examples, and just filling in completely, completely focused on your idea. So my experience has been great. I mean, it's, every, you, you, do, you, you guys take care of everything, really, everything. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> And not only that, it's not, it's not only the usage of the system, it's what happens afterwards. You continuously get informed of the next steps. You really know what to do all the way. So, you know, it's, it's so easy. No heavy lifting, nothing. <laughs> I'm curious to know, a lot of people in the audience um, were in your position before. They have a great idea, but they're struggling with figuring out what solutions to use to be able to launch it. So what's one piece of advice you would give um, someone else who sat in your shoes not too long ago? Um, so, well, the number one advice is, piece of advice is, you know, execute on your, on your idea. I mean, take action, just take action the only way that you will be able to know if you can do this or not, or if it's gonna be successful or not, is if you take action. That's my number one advice. <laughs> okay, okay, great. So for all the people who wanna come and learn more about you, what are some specific initiatives that are going on right now for you that they might be able to help you support? Absolutely, thank you. So number one, we are developing our network really fast. So I would love to have people, if you know people probably, I mean, this is, this is a, being, recorded in English, but if you know people in Latin America that would like to be entrepreneur, uh, uh, volunteers, excuse me, for our organization, that's number one priority. You will find everything on our website. Okay. That's number okay. one. And yeah, number two, obviously, if you would like to donate, you know, uh, again, you can go to our website and you can donate. Basically, so that you have an idea, with only $10, only with $10, you start the journey of an entrepreneurship for a kid in need in Latin America. Great. Well, thank you so much, Angel. It's been an absolute pleasure having you here. Um, greatly appreciate you taking the time to come and visit with us today. Thank you. Thank you very much for allowing me to be here and to share the message because we have a lot of things to do in order to reach out to those 81 million kids in Latin America. So thank you very much, Jackie.